Bam! Hey kids, welcome back. It is a beautiful July 3rd, hotter than hell and raining and soggy out, nasty. Uh, anyway, this is a quickie little how to make something video, which I haven't done in a while. Um, for those of you that run quarter scale, fifth scale, you know, big, big RC cars or boats with gas engines in them, like Zenoa engines or, you know, whatever you're running, Usually on that car or boat, you have a button that you push and that grounds out the coil with the head and it kills the engine. Like a Roven car has that, RC boats, big RC boats have that and that's how you kill it. And so what I wanted to do, it kind of made me nervous. Um, if you're fail safe, uh, your battery goes dead or something happens um, and that, or your servo fries, your, your throttle servo and the bitch just keeps on going. And I have had that happen with Roven, my Roven car. Thank God, not with a boat yet. Cause I have three gas boats and I have the one Roven car now. And uh, so I'm like, I'm gonna buy a remote kill switch. You know, you plug in your receiver and it'll kill the engine. And the ones that I found, I really didn't love. They were expensive. They're like 50 bucks. And they just, I don't know, I just didn't love it. So I'm going to show you how to make your own, okay? Very, very simple. So what we're going to need is one of those and one of those, okay? I will put links in the description on Amazon where I got these. Very, very cheap. I think I bought four of these for five bucks or something. I think this is eight or six. Very, very cheap, very easy to make. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about this first, okay? This is a remote switch. And it comes with a little diagram, but it sucks. All right, so basically you hook this into your receiver, and then this is gonna go into your battery source and this is gonna to go to the source you want to control. For instance, if you wanted to turn on and off LEDs from a five volt source, you would plug this into say channel three of your radio. This would go into your five volt battery and then this end's gonna to go to your five volt LEDs. And when you toggle the switch on your radio, it's gonna basically throw a relay in here and it's gonna let it go across. The bad thing about these are uh, just the way the voltage is set up and you always have to apply a sub voltage. Okay, so that's how this works. But I'm going to show you a cheating way around that. This is a single channel relay, okay, that can go off of a high or low signal. Very, very simple how this is set up. We've got a DC in, 5 volts, DC negative, and it'll run like 5, 12, 24, but we're going to use 5 volts. Uh, DC positive, DC negative, and signal input right here. I don't know if you can see that. And then on the back side, you've got normally open, which is NO, common or normally closed. So you gotta think about what we wanna do here. We want, whenever the motor is running and the kill switch is open, to kill one of these motors, you have to ground out the coil. So you have two wires going to your, your kill switch on your machine, and then when you, that is a normally open switch. When you push it, it closes, shorts out, the coil to the head or ground and kills your spark, your engine dies. So what we want to do is we want to make it so we can control engine kill from the remote, channel three. And I also want it so if my battery dies, my, my radio battery or something happens, the power gets disconnected for whatever reason, I want that thing to normally close as well. So you can see, we'll put the meter on continuity, bam. Pretty simple, okay? So normally closed and common, when you put your meter across those two, should beep. Normally open and common should be open, right? Very, very simple. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna make a couple mods. The first mod that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the sheath off of this because I do not like having, since this is a five volt relay, I do not like having to supply an extra five volts. That's silly because we're running five volts. Okay, so take an X-Acto knife, cutting off the heat, shrink. Okay, now what we're gonna do, this is very, very simple guys. We're gonna, these two are gonna go to our relay. These two, we're basically going to jump back to our incoming voltage that we're getting off of our receiver, okay? So we're gonna take it back to here, cut it right about there, 
All right, simple enough. Then I'm gonna tin those up and I'm gonna solder them to the positive and negative right there. So be right back. All right, simple, simple. So what you can see here is this is our incoming off of our receiver. This is a five volt relay. So I don't need an external power source. I've already got five volts sitting right here. So I just took these, cut them and soldered them into five volts and ground, obviously. Then we're gonna take this and I'm going to put it right here. And I'm gonna measure these out to right about there. You can make it neater than this if you want. This is going in a boat, and then I make another one for, I've already made a couple, make another one for my buddy, for his Roven. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, this is gonna be our signal throwing, our voltage. So we're gonna take, where's my screwdriver? Screwdriver, screwdriver, there it is. We're gonna bring our five volts and ground into five volts positive and ground. But here's the other trick. You also have to make a jumper. This is where people get confused from your ground to your signal. So it can see the voltage drop. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this little bit of wire. Okay, just like that. And we're gonna stick it in first to this negative side. And we're gonna take our other negative off of our remote. Okay, and we're gonna tighten that up. So that's going into the ground side. Then we're gonna take this jumper and we're gonna jump it into the signal loss side or signal gain, depending on what you wanna do. Trust me, just do it. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna take our positive and we're gonna stick it in our hot. and you're done, theoretically, okay? Then what I do, just for a little bit of fun, um, I will take a little bit of conformal coat. I usually use the spray, but this stuff dries a little bit faster. I'll conformal coat the back of this real quick. Because when I put these in a, bo a boat, I balloon them, okay? All right, a little Bardwell blow in there. So the other thing while that's drying that I wanted to talk to you about is there's a jumper right here. This is a low signal or a high signal. So you can basically make this relay throw if you drop voltage or raise voltage, okay? Well, we want it so it drops voltage, okay? When it sees a voltage drop, we want this thing to normally close, okay? So we're gonna be wiring into that. So we're gonna take this guy, and then all I do, very, very simple, take a little bit of CA, Super glue for those of you that uh, never heard that term. And I simply glue it right to there. Take a little kicker, done. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it and I'll finish conformal coating it later. So we're going to whip out our fancy dancy testing whacking board. Okay. I got a receiver hooked up here, and we're just gonna put this into channel three, because that's what I use for my boats for this particular process. Now, what you're gonna do, you want that jumper to stay on the low side, and we're going to take our, where your switch wires into your engine, okay? For your kill switch, cut the switch off, or desolder, whatever you wanna do, and then take one of those wires, put it in common, and the other one in normally closed, and you are done. I will show you how this works right now. So, let me grab a battery, I'll plug this guy in. All right, turn on our radio. And you can see there's a little light flash in there. Okay. All right. I can hear the relay clicking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it. Right now, channel three is off. You can see right there, I toggle this switch. Okay, and it also has status lights on the relay. So what we're gonna do right now, this channel three is off. So I should get a continuous beep on my meter with continuity. Hang on, where's my lead? There's my lead. 
All right, we're gonna wire our motor, our engine into there. That is going to be shorting that coil to ground. We flip channel three. Now the engine will run. So channel three has to be on for it to run. That'll kill the engine. Or if we unplug the battery, that will kill it as well. Okay, so there it's open and now it's off. Apologies, smoking hot wife interruption. So there you go, very, very simple and very cheap. Um, and then what I do with a boat, or you could do it with a car too, is you could take this little monster and stuff it in a balloon. That's what I do. I take a balloon, I cut the stem off, I widen it out, put it in there, put a zip strip around it, bam, done. And you'll have your two motor wire, your coil wires coming out of here, and this, and I put an extension on this usually, and then put a zip strip around the balloon and bam, waterproof. Um, but I also can formal coat them too, so either way. But that is it, very, very simple. Now the third way this protects you. So what we're gonna do is we've got it so it will kill your engine. It will kill your engine by remote. It will kill your engine if your battery gets disconnected or dies. And you can also set up that channel three on your fail safe. You don't have to use channel three, whatever channel you're using. Channel three on your fail safe. So if you lose signal, it automatically turns off channel three, which automatically will kill your engine. Very, very simple. You only have to solder two wires, very easy. But jump it back into itself like this, and that way you do not have to fuck around with um, adding an extra power source. It's very, very nice. So links to the parts that I used are in the description. And if you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you later, kids. Bye.